Good evening, happy holidays, and welcome to tonight's public meeting of the 2019 New York City Charter of Vision Commission. I'm Gail Benjamin, the chair of the commission, and I am joined tonight by the following commission members. Sal Albanese, Dr. Lillian Barrios Paoli, Lisette Camillo, James Karras, Eduardo Cordero, Senior, Stephen Faella, Paula Gavin, Lindsey Green, Satish Nuri, and Carl Weisbrod. With these commissioners present, we have a quorum. Tonight, we're ready to enter into the next phase of our work for developing proposals for changes to the way our government is structured and operates. Our goal from the beginning has been to look at the lessons of the last 30 years since the extensive changes made by the 1989 Charter of Vision Commission and voted in by the public in order to inform our deliberations about how best to set the city up for success and progress over the next 30 years. Over the course of the last five months, we've heard 19 hours of public testimony over the course of five public hearings where New Yorkers made their voices heard regarding what they would like to see changed in the charter. The hearings generally lasted about three hours, except for the Manhattan hearing, which was in this room for about seven hours. We have received over 300 sp specific proposals for changes to the Charter from more than 150 New Yorkers who testified. We've also undertaken an extensive engagement campaign online, in the media, and through in-person presentations at a variety of community events, directly engaging approximately 600 New Yorkers in conversations about the Charter. Tonight, the Commission will adopt a set of criteria which we will direct staff to use in creating a curated list of ideas which we will consider at the next phase of our work. By focusing on changes that, for example, we can legally make that require a referendum to accomplish and that focus on structural changes that advance important values, we can begin the difficult but necessary work of honing in on areas where we think it makes the most sense to focus and we, where we think we can make the biggest difference. We will then return early next year to consider a set of focus areas and proposals that have been refined based on these criteria and begin a period of more in-depth study, including a set of focused hearings featuring testimony from sub subject matter experts. With all that in mind, we have a resolution before the Commission that would instruct the staff to consider the following criteria in the course of its review and evaluation of the ideas and proposals we've received, and to recommend to the Commission those ideas and proposals for potential changes to the City Charter which should be further studied. First, focus on changes that would likely I just, never mind, let's start again. First, focus on changes that likely would not be accomplished by local law without a referendum. In other words, changes that would likely require a charter commission or referendum to accomplish. Second, focus on changes that are not precluded by federal or state law or federal or state constitutions. Third, focus on ideas and proposals that would A, improve government effectiveness, transparency, accountability, or efficiency, B, encourage meaningful participation by New Yorkers, or C, provide for balance between local and citywide interests. Fourth, focus on ideas and proposals that affect how policy decisions are made and by whom, rather than ideas and proposals that would involve making particular policy decisions directly. Fifth, focus on ideas and proposals that would not reverse the decisions of the voters in recent referenda. I would like to note that this evening is a public meeting, not a public hearing. The public is welcome to observe. However, tonight there will be no testimony from the public. 
The Commission will hold public hearings beginning in 2019, at which additional public testimony and feedback will be welcome. Um, you have all received copies of the proposal with the five criteria. Um, is there a motion to vote on the resolution to so instruct the staff? Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? David, do you wanna call the vote? Commissioner Albanese. Uh, I'd like to explain my vote. Uh, first, let me let me commend the staff on uh, uh, putting together these uh, focus uh, buckets. I think they're going to help us uh, deliberate uh, as we go through this very complicated process. Uh, just on, on focus one, I had some concerns about it, uh, which have been addressed regarding. Uh, the fact that uh, if the council can do something by local law that we can't, uh, uh, without a need of a referendum, we can't uh, propose uh, a, uh, an item. And uh, I, I was happy to see that we've, we've allowed for some wiggle room. Because specifically, I'm concerned about political reform. Political reform, like public finance and the campaigns, term limits are issues that legislatures are not likely to pass. It's just the way it is. And, and not singly, not the city council. But if you look across the country, whenever you see what you see when it comes to political reform has been done by referendum. So even though technically we can do things by local law, legislatures can do it, the fact of the matter is that that's the nature of legislatures, and I served on one for 15 years, is that uh, they, they tend not to look favorably on competition or opening up the process. That's just the way it is, and it's not about this, this legislative body. So um, I will be voting yes, um, uh, with the caveat that I, that I believe that uh, we can. There is some wiggle room to introduce legislation that might technically be allowed by the council uh, without a referendum that, th that we can also consider f issues that are likely not to be passed by the city council under, under bucket number one. So I vote yes. Thank you, Sal. Commissioner Berrios Paley? Yes. Commissioner Karras? Yes. Commissioner Camilo? Yes. Commissioner Cordero? Yes. Commissioner Fiala. If I could uh, explain my vote as well, I'm happy to vote yes. I just want to associate my remarks with uh, Commissioner Albanese in thanking and commending the staff for the excellent work they did in uh, sifting through and, and sorting out the more than 300 uh, specific proposals we've gotten. Um, in addition to taking into account the specific focus areas of commissioners, um, I'm happy to support this resolution because it certainly does uh, give due consideration to the areas of interest that I expressed in my memorandum of October 1st, and I thank you, Madam Chair, for uh, factoring that in, and I thank the staff, so I vote aye. Commissioner Gavin? Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Norrie? Yes. Commissioner Weisbrod? Yes. And Chair Benjamin? Yes. Motion's been adopted. Thank you so much, everyone. I would also take, like to take a moment to commend all of the commissioners who have read through the voluminous materials, have offered suggestions to improve them, have been actively involved in shaping these criteria and the work that the Commission is doing. I know that I appreciate the work you're all putting in, and I know that the staff similarly appreciates the commitment that all of you have made to the work that we're doing. So thank you very much to the commissioners also. Um, 
I would also like to remind the public that they are welcome to share additional ideas or proposals with us, although we would ask that you do so within the next month so that we can include, if you would like to get them included in this review stage of honing down, we really do need them by the end of this month. And I would urge you to, which is not to say we won't accept it after that, but if you really seriously want to get your proposals considered, please give them to us as, as quickly as possible. Um, before we conclude, I will entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of the commission meeting from September 27th at City Hall. Is there a second? second. Any discussion? David. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, commissioners, while you are more than welcome to take your written materials with you, please remember to leave the folders and your name cards behind so that we can be environmentally sensitive and reuse them, which we have heretofore. And now with the business of today's meeting concluded, may I have a motion to adjourn? So Is there a second? second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. This meeting is adjourned. Once again, I hope everybody has a happy and healthy December. And we will see you again, I hope, in January. <laughs>